Where we are standing now is uh, in Zika Forest. Zika Forest is a reserve forest of the Uganda Virus Research Institute. It used to be a much larger forest, stretching all the way from Entebbe up to here, which is like about 15 uh, kilometers. And it is at the edge of the Lake Victoria. Zika Forest is important because of the studies that have been carried out in this forest, but also because several viruses were first isolated from this forest. It was, um, it was a feed station, but without the steel tower, because the steel tower was put there later. The whole exercise at that time was uh, looking for yellow fever, but they were able to isolate other viruses also, like Zika. One of the methods that was being used, they would put platforms on big trees, they would put monkeys in cages, the monkeys would be left to, to be bitten by mosquitoes and the blood sample would be collected from them. Then in the lab, the virus would be identified. In 1947, while doing this work, it was identified that something new was actually in the blood of one of the monkeys. It was found to be positive with uh, uh, a strain of a virus which was later identified to be a Zika virus. It was given the name Zika virus when it was found to be a new virus. It's a weak human biting mosquito. They biting like anywhere else but doesn't go for man, it prefers small mammals. The mosquitoes that can transmit a Zika virus are mostly in the forests and they bite mostly at dawn and at dusk and in the night when people are out of the forests. So because of that, you don't get many people being infected with the virus. Zika was indeed an important virus. It was like other aboviruses we normally isolate. Zika became a problem only recently when Brazil got that problem, which is associated with. But in Uganda, Zika is, 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 is not a threat yet. Periodically, we come across people who are positive with antibodies against Zika. We have got dengue, we have got chikungunya, we've got onyongnyong, we have got West Nile, we've got yellow fever. All these are closely related. Probably there is some immunity conferred to the people from these other infections. But at the moment, all we know is we don't have many cases of microcephaly and we have never related it to Zika virus. But you never know what happens in Brazil could happen in Uganda one day. Since all the factors are available. Mosquitoes here. The virus was first isolated in Uganda, so you never know.